buildings, empty spaces, architectural designs and modern creations. They all mean something poetic in Venice for the 16th International Architecture Exhibition with the theme Free Space. Architects are asked to reflect on space and its implications and most of their installations and projects were shaped by current events. We have to be aware of the political issues in order to make buildings which uh, protect insofar as we can, the, the status of the human being in the world. That's a very general statement, but um, architecture does have a political agenda which is maybe not specific to the, the political parties or, or whatever, but it's a, it's a social agenda. It's a deep social agenda which has a deep political implication. Turkey, Argentina and Germany are only some of the 63 national participants at the Architecture Biennale who ask visitors to come into the pavilions to see their interpretations. While some countries are confronting their own history in order to reflect on borders in the world, others explore free space with their own landscapes. Places rather than buildings or nothing but empty rooms. The subtitle of the exhibit is Should we simply build buildings or seek to make places? So it's a question we're asking and in this exhibit we wish to make portraits of places that touched us as architects. These are often abandoned places that have been deserted. Old factories or offices that have been reactivated. Civil society has a great impact here, as these are bottom-up projects. Russia has chosen to focus on free space by transforming its pavilion into an apparent railway station. All the Russian train stations is unique. The atmosphere of train stations. And uh, the trains is changing. And we have a lot of famous travelers who travel through Russia. A lot of events happen in train stations or in trains. So we have the history of connected with the, with the Russian history. Trains is connected. And of course, it's the literature and cinema. From, let's say, from Anna Karenina to Dr. Zhivaga, from Nikolai II to Alexander Solzhenitsyn. The 16th International Architecture Biennale Exhibition welcomes everyone who wants to experience free space until late this year. To talk more about the Biennale and this year's theme, I'm joined by Tuna Ortayla Kazıcı, the International Projects Manager at the Istanbul Foundation for Culture and Arts, as well as architect Jansu Jurgen, who is an associate curator with Vardia, a project that is responsible of the Pavilion of Turkey at the Biennale. Thank you so much for joining me today Hi, thank on you. Showcase. Uh, now, Tuna, I want to start off with you. Why was the theme of free space chosen uh, for this year's Biennale? Well, uh, the system at the Biennale works uh, like this. There is a president, Mr. Paolo Baratta, who is responsible for all of the events that the Biennale is organizing with his team. And uh, every year, whether it's for the art or for the architecture Biennale, uh, they decide together on uh, meetings uh, who will be the who or uh, who will be the curator or the curators of mm -hmm. the projects of that year. And uh, for uh, Biennale Architettura of uh, 2018, they've chosen uh, Yvonne Farrell and Shelley McNamara, two Irish architects. Uh, after that, uh, choosing the team is all up to the uh, curators themselves. And uh, they have announced the uh, theme to be free space uh, on September of last year. Mm -hmm. uh, and from that point on, uh, we as the uh, commissioner of the Pavilion of Turkey started organizing the open call for who will be joining us uh, for, uh, as a project in the Pavilion. Uh, and after the open call elections, which was uh, guided by our uh, selection committee, Vardia was chosen to be the project to be uh, exhibited at the Pavilion of Turkey for Biennale Architettura. Now, Tuna, tell me about uh, the relationship that the, the Venice Biennale has with Turkey overall. This 20-year-long relation we have with the Biennale, first of all, it is 
obviously related to the fact that uh, ICASEV has been in very good terms with the Biennale and uh, uh, we have personally been in contact with the Biennale team uh, since 2007. Uh, I have been working at the foundation uh, for seven years now and uh, it's been all along these years I have, connect, uh, I have uh, communicated with the same people at the Biennale so now it's like our uh, second team over there in Venice mm -hmm. and they know us very well, we know them very well and this is a unique case actually, not every country has that opportunity. Jansu, I see that yeah. uh, you've brought a couple of books along mm. with you, tell yes. me a bit about what those are? Well, uh, besides um, preparing the p uh, pavilion for the exhibition, we also worked, on, worked hard uh, on this um, four volume of books about the Vardia process. So the first one is about the ideas, how as a team we gather up and started to work on this idea of uh, organizing an open call to students, inviting them uh, to join the pavilion. And this one is basically uh, refers to our um, open call um, campaign. Uh, we ask uh, students uh, three questions basically to uh, invite them to think about uh, the role of the biennial. Mm -hmm. So they replied our um, our um, invitation uh, with their uh, one minute videos and also with their portfolios. So with, uh, among 500 applications we uh, chose uh, 122 uh, students mm -hmm. uh, from countries um, including China, uh, UK, US, Indonesia, um, international, group. international, yes, uh, we had uh, reached seven, 70 different cities, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, this was the process, the initial process, and then um, we also made some um, interviews with uh, very distinguished professors, whom also are um, selective committee members. And the last book is about the pavilion. We mm -hmm. call this book, this volume, the pavilion, but this is also about the program, the overall mm -hmm. program. So uh, during this six months of Biennial, uh, we are organizing more than uh, 50 digital meetings mm -hmm. and six keynotes and also 13 uh, workshops for students. Yeah. Uh, we are inviting students to uh, stay there one week. In every two weeks, they will arrive in Vardias, like in, sh uh, shifts. in shifts. Yeah, and uh, they will engage with these workshops and then start working, producing, collaborating, and meeting each other. Oh, that and sounds great. Yeah. This is the notebook that we designed for them, yeah. so that, that, them so that they can take some notes and make some Yeah, uh, this is to be built by the students themselves. <laughs> All right. Exactly. Uh, now, John, so I want to ask you one last question. Mm -hmm. The Biennale refers to a statement by Spanish architect Alejandro de la Sota that mm -hmm. architects should make as much nothing mm -hmm. as possible. So basically, he's saying, be simple. Yeah. Uh, who is an architect today that embodies this very idea? I might say that this year's uh, Golden Lion winners and also the winners of the Honorable Mention Awards uh, could be such an example to that um, profile. Uh, Rahul Metro Mehrotra, an Indian uh, architect, and also Eduardo Soto de Mora. Uh, they were uh, the winners of this year's uh, La Biennale. Oh, that's great. Well, yeah. Tuna and Jansu, thank you so much for joining me in our studio today. Thank you for inviting thank you us. So much. <laughs>